Ah, so you come crawling back, you cheap sack of shit. Hello, and that is right. It's time for the best NAS of the year series once again. Something we do every single year where we go through the best NAS that you can buy that year, right now at the end of 2024, for example, that you can get in every single category. This video is about the best NAS in terms of value. It doesn't mean it's the cheapest NAS by any regard. This is a NAS that you get the best bang for your buck. So let's crack on with our honorable mention in today's video, which is this. The honorable mention is not making it into the best value category, it's not one of the big three. But I will highlight it, it is this. This is the TerraMaster F8 SSD and F8 SSD Plus. This is an eight times SSD system. Arrived in September 2024, are rocking out with either an N95 quad core processor or an eight core Intel i3 with 10 GPE on board and eight to PCIe Gen 3 times one slots inside. Really got to give it credit. There is a lot being crammed in there. The price tag retailing between 550 for the entry level box to about 599, and the larger scale device rocking out closer to six, seven, maybe even 800 in some regions. It's not the lowest price. As mentioned, this is about value. It is not about the price tag. The only reason it made it into the honourable mention category is, frankly. Not everyone's going to make the most of this system. Also, we have to keep in mind that M2 NVMEs are not cheap and not having any kind of leverage towards SATA SSD or SATA hard drives does make this complicated as a value proposition. As a flash NAS system, it is decent enough, it has to be said. But when it comes to anyone that wants to have tiered storage, hot, cold, warm, etc., this is really isn't going to be for you, and hence why it made it into our honourable mention category. But without further ado, let's crack on to our first big winner. I think it would be fair to say that for long-time Synology users, the B-Station series was kind of contentious. This was Synology streamlining a lot of their apps and services, streamlining DSM into a small, compact, pre-populated form. But it has to be said that the B-Station bst 154 t catchy name by the way, um, is arguably one of the best value entry-level NAS devices I've ever seen. Arriving at $199, again that price does fluctuate from currency and region to region, but I will say at $199 it includes 4 terabytes of storage and is a complete out-the-box deploy in minutes genuine turnkey NAS solution. It is ready out the box, deployable from anywhere in the world. It includes AI photo recognition and its dedicated AI photo application appliance. It has um, hyper backup, uh, Synology's own uh, premium uh, multi-platform backup appliance, but rejigged into the BSM or B-Station Manager application there. And again, I'm not going to say this device is going to blow anyone away, but at 199, yes, it's got one gig, and yes, it's got a Realtek ARM processor. We have to counter that against a genuinely user-friendly NAS solution that challenges the price points of Google Drive, challenges Dropbox, Apple Storage, all of them. It challenges them in terms of price, in terms of data ownership, and it's just overall fantastic value. I know some of you are going to think I've lost my sodding mind to put a rack mount in the best value series, but I'm going to give them credit. Unify's new network attached storage solution, the UNAS Pro, it's a seven bay rack mount solution. It is turnkey, it is deployable in minutes, it's got 10 GBE on board, it's got a quad core arm and eight gig of memory, it has got backup appliances built in, it has a single pane user interface, it can be accessed securely via mobile applications and desktop applications, it is buildable. Uh, in terms of general storage and wide compatibility of hard drives inside, it is the package, and it's $499. Now, to put that into perspective, the closest Kinep and Synologies I could find to this solution in, in terms of hardware architecture started around seven dollars to $800 and ended at around $1,200. If you wanted to get a 10G quad-core arm, seven-bay rack mount, half-depth solution, you are looking at serious money. And that's what I mean about value. Because Unify has something of a mixed reputation in terms of what they provide, a closed ecosystem sometimes, although not in the case of this, and arguably in any of their solutions in 2024. Hell, they added OnViv to Unify's Protect platform recently. 
it has to be said that the UNAS Pro as their first ever network attached solution, yes, it only focuses on the fundamentals with very, very few exciting AIA Plus apps, but at 499 Nicker, it's insane. Which brings us to my third one, which is the Link Station N1. This actually made it onto my best of videos last year as an honorable mention while it was still going through crowdfunding. This is a very interesting little NAS, not only for its hardware architecture and design, but also because they have gone a slightly different way to, frankly, everyone else in terms of software. What do I mean? Well, this system, again, arriving at around $399, not only arrives with a quad-core Intel Celeron processor, the M5105, which arguably at the end of 2024 is starting to show its age a bit, it also arrives with 16 gig of DDR4 memory. It also arrives with two SATA SSD ports there on the front and four M.2 NVMe there. So you've got warm and hot storage, but moreover, at 399, this is a six bay flash solution. But the real kicker for me is Link Plus could have gone out of their way and got themselves a new, or tried to build a NAS software from the ground up, and that'd be fine. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They went to Unraid and asked to put Unraid licensed software on this. If you buy one of these, it includes a paid up lifetime subscription to Unraid. It covers all of the base, and Unraid now in Unraid 7 arrives with ZFS support there, arrives with a much more streamlined attitude towards storage, widespread container and driver deployment and compatibility, and it's just a marvel inside this system. Is it perfect? Hell no. There's no 10 GBE. In fact, there's only a single 2.5 gig port. Luckily, USB support of 2.5 and 5 gig adapters is now supported via Unraid and third-party uh, drivers from the likes of AS Media and Realtek. Also on top of this, it would have been nice if there had been a way to roll on an expansion device. Although, again, you can use third-party USB JBODs if you choose. Arguably, the main focus here is value, and at 399, that the fact that it includes the Unraid license, includes two-tier flash storage, and the brand looks like it's now expanding into three new solutions aimed at the Pro Pro prosumer. This is a solution that they are going to back and support the hardware as much as possible. But moreover, it has to be said that with Unraid licensing support on there, that means you're going to get long, long, long lifetime support in that software too. But there you go, those are the best three NAS solutions that I would recommend right now at the end of 2024 in terms of value. Needless to say, they are all linked in the description below. I've tried to add several retailers where possible, and if this video was helpful, and if you were gonna to go to those retailers anyway, make sure those two things are true, please use those links in the description. Notwithstanding the fact that Black Friday's around the corner, I'll try and add any deals that I find down there, but mainly if you use those links, it results in a small commission coming here to me and Eddie at NAS Compares, it's just us, and it allows us to keep doing what we do. But thank you so much for watching and have yourselves a fantastic week.